Eight cars from the end case qualified to determine matchups and lane starts. You are just in time for the end case race. Each match will consist of two runs down the drag strip. They'll swap lanes for the second run and the fastest time will move on. Will there be a car fast enough to knock one of these off the top speed ladder? We are going to find out. The time machine still holds the track speed record as we get ready for race number one. The lightest car in the end case race is the lowest Evaya. Comes in at 27 grams up against the 68 Mercury Cougar weighing in at 34 grams to get this one started. These two are staged and they are ready. A huge jump for the Mercury Cougar across the line first with a 1.573, setting it up as the time to beat as they swap leads for the second run. Cougar on the outside, Lotus on the inside. It's the Mercury Cougar with back-to-back -back wins. They will advance to the fast four. Up next in the end case race, Velocita, 37 grams, pulls up in lane number one. The Corvette C6R, looking really good in the Spectre Flame paint, 38 grams. They'll be in lane number two, and they're ready to race. A disappointing first run for the Corvette C6R. Velocita sets the time to beat, 1.582. We're going to switch up the lanes and run this one again. Velocita sends the Corvette packing. They'll move on to the fast four in round number two. Right now it's match number three in the end case race. The Audi Avon has a date with the Dodge Challenger SRT. Going to set up the Audi in lane number one. The Dodge Challenger is in lane number two and they're ready to race. A rocket out of the gate. The Audi Avon takes the first run, a 1.576. That's the second fastest run so far in the end case race. Let's swap lanes. Dodge Challenger needs to beat a 1.576 if they hope to advance. Let's find out. Hey, look at that. The Audi Avon now with the fastest time today, a 1.560. That is your third car making it to the fast four. And that brings us to the final matchup, round one. The Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. Going to try and keep it racing straight versus the 90 Acura NSX. He's in at 30 grams. We've got the Volvo in lane number one. The Acura outside lane number two. Not great times, but the Volvo Drift Wagon kept it straight on the first run. A 1.585 is now the time to beat for the Acura NSX as they swap wings and do it again. The Volvo 240 Drift Wagon looking good. It's the final car moving on to the Fast 4 in the end case race. We started with eight cars from the end case. We're down to the Fast 4 left, trying to find a car fast enough to knock one out of the top speed ladder here at the Hot Wheels Head-to-Head -head Racing Channel. To do that, you'll need at least a 1.546 top speed. First up in the Fast 4 Round 2, the 68 Mercury Cougar revving up that 428 V8 in lane 1. They're ready to race. Velocita with those awesome graphics in lane number 2. Some good racing there. The Mercury Cougar takes that first run. 1.569 is the time to beat. The Mercury Cougar slides outside lane 2. Velocita inside lane 1 with a shot at the finals. Not great times, but it was close. The 68 Mercury Cougar races into the final and a chance at the top spot in the end case race. Onto the Fast 4, match number 2, as we find out who the Cougar gets to face. Between the Audi Avon RSZ and the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon, the Audi stages lane 1, the Drift Wagon all set, lane 2. Let's race! The Audi just tied their fastest time here in the end case race, 1.560. That's going to be hard to beat for the Drift Wagon. The lane swap, give it a try. Drift Wagon inside lane 1 this time. 
It's not going to happen. The Audi of On lays down the fastest time on the last run, a 1.553, to advance and race the Mercury Cougar for the top spot in the end case race. We started with eight end case cars, rolled through the fast four, and now at the final on the Hot Wheels Head to Head Racing Channel. Weight advantage to the Audi Avant RSZ, 36 grams. The Mercury Cougar weighs in at 34 grams, but they get lane one to start. The Audi Avant outside lane two, this should be good. Ah, nice close run. The Audi Avon 1.565. The Cougar 1.568. They'll do it one more time for the top spot. Lane swap 1.565. The time to beat. What a great final. Back to back tight races. The Audi Avon with the win over the Mercury Cougar for the top spot. Unfortunately, nobody fast enough in the end case race to knock anyone off the top speed ladder. There are your final results and your top speeds in the end case race. The 94 Audi Avon RSZ top speed 1.553 at 36 grams. Thanks for watching the Hot Wheels head-to-head -head racing channel. Do me a favor, subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed the racing.